Hey gamers, welcome to my channel. In this video we will talk about Ronin's Healing God build. As the name suggests, this build will focus on healing and not just you, your whole team. So without any further ado, let's get into the build. For our ultimate, we have Breath of Izanami. It's not like we have options there but it's the stronghold of this build anyway. For our class ability, we are going to choose Healing Incense. You can choose Flaming Roar if you want to go for Healing Fire build, but we will come back to that shortly. For our perk one, you want to choose Legendary. This will enable us to have one additional Legendary item equipped. For our perk two, you want to choose Cure All. This is absolutely must and this is what makes this build into a healing god. This will enable us to heal our team members whenever we heal ourselves. You can spam bomb, you can heal all your team members and you can make tons of damage with this perk. For our perk 3, you would want to choose Soothing Breath. This will ensure whenever we use our ultimatum and revive our team members. We can also heal them for 8 loom seconds. Alternatively, you can go with Staggering Breath if you want to go with Hybrid Heal Fire build. Now let's look at the gear. For Katana it comes to each own personal preference. For me I like Water Katana. I do not have great perks with this Katana but the Burning Blade will make sure to light enemies on fire. For those who wants to use this as a hybrid build, this perk will help them greatly. For Ranged, you want to choose Forbidden Medicine. This will heal you and allies caught in the blast. But what if your allies are not in range? That's where our perk 2, Cure All comes into picture. This will make sure even if your allies are far you can still heal them ensuring no one gets killed in the raid. For your property one, you need to have Blast Radius. This ensures you cover wide area of effect. For your property two, you can either have Status Effect Damage or Duration. I have chosen Status Effect Damage to ensure the bomb provides both damage and heal. For your perk one, Black Powder Bomb is a must. This will create huge damage similar to Sticky Bomb. For your perk two, if you can get Flash Bomb it's an added advantage. Else you can choose your own preference. For Charm, you need to choose Restorative Rhythm. This will help you to revive allies even if your resolve is not full. This is highly looked down but it will come as lifesaver. For Property you can choose Fire Damage and Injured Resolve Gain. Injured Resolved Gain is a must as it will increase your resolve by 3 quarters for every hit. This will help you get your resolve to full and use your ultimatum. For your perk, you need Fire Master and Combat Regeneration. I am still trying to reroll Combat Regeneration. Combat Regeneration ensures you health gets constantly healed, ensuring your allies get healed in the process. For Ghost Weapon 1 you need to have Sticky Bomb. With property is Ghost Weapon Damage and Cooldown Reduction on Kill. For perk you need to have Fired Up and Increased Radius. For Ghost Weapon 2, you need to have Smoke Bomb. With property, Stealth Attack Damage and Cooldown Reduction on Kill. For perk you need to have Munition which is a must, as this will refill your bomb on every use. For additional perk, if you can have Black Powder, then it's an added advantage. You can also try changing your perk 3 technique to legendary and equip an additional legendary item. For EO chapters, I will go with healing incense and soothing breath. 
For nightmare survival, I will go with flaming roar and staggering breath. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and drop a comment. I will soon release Ron and Kunai build, so stay tuned.